when you're starting AutoCAD, AutoCAD for the first time, Zimmy, what you want to do is find the software icon on the desktop, double tap, then it will open. Basically, it will open to a screen that looks like this. That says start new join. So you click here, start new join, or click this plus icon. So it goes boom. Start new join. So when you start a new join, remember now, this is your first time doing a join. Now we use units, we want to set up user preferences like your options and your settings, things to make it suit and appeal to your personal drawing style or needs. As a new draw drafter, draftist. Jotis, you don't know. You probably don't know where you want it or will appeal to you, but as you go along, you can make changes. So, the first thing you do is go to options or user preference. Uh -huh. <laughs> go to options and user preference. So, go options here. Now, because AutoCAD is a command based software, you can just type in options. So, options. Type in options. Boom, and it's come up. So, you have various variety of things here. So, but the main one, then we go focus on. Don't make no changes to the things, them. Just make them stay default because default is ideal. You don't want to mess with nothing, and then no, no, fix it back. And then, not even me can help you. You have to go pray. All right. So, what we have to know is display, right? So, I'm not like dark, I want a light, I come out of steam. So, I go so bops, change the color scheme to light. Means so the background now goes so black, you know, it go a little bit whiter. Not, that nothing wrong with black, because black is beauty. and you know, you know the rest. Yeah. So I got plot publish here. I want to see if it has 2013. Yeah, because you can open 2013 in any year. 2014, 15, 16, 17. Because you know, the old stuff here can open new drawing. But the new drawing can open any old one. So yeah. Plot publish. Yes, man. Everything good. Microsoft to PDF. Yeah. Everything good there. But what we want? A user preference, really. So I'll come to user preference. We select our units of drawing are using some people use inches some people use um f uh, meters some if our technical drawing though for my purpose and for your purpose we use millimeters because for drawing sake and for engineering drawing we use millimeters because they're the smallest unit of measurement and we want accuracy in engineering accuracy is tantamount yes so we select millimeters you have the rest of them uh-huh then you go here so right click customization now, I want my right click customization to be this, right? So, the default mode is repeat last command for my right click. Also, for right click edit mode, the last click also, you can repeat last command. But this is what you want. You want it to be a repeat last command, right? So, when you right click, you basically get the command that you were in before. And then you want your right click also to act as enter. Understood? Also, well, I'll keep it a shortcut just to make life easy and not to confuse you. So keep it on that but Enter here and shortcut repeat last command. Very good. Apply and close. Then we'll move on to drafting settings. So we want these our snap sizes and our aperture sizes to be big enough so we can see them. If they're too small, you can't really see what you're doing. So you want them to be medium size. Yeah. Too small is problem, too big is problem. So medium and mild. That's right. Alright, so selection, same thing for pick box sizes, make the medium. Now these are basically when you're hovering over the screen where my cursor is now, you'll see your pick box or your aperture. Mm -hmm. Medium size. Okay. So see if that notice some background become light and I'm dark again. Yeah. And see my aperture side here move my down now. See you're not too big and not too small. Yeah, that little box there. Boom, bam. Now you want to set up your units, and for units, you just type it in as I say. Like we do options, units, U N I T S, enter. Bam, so units are millimeters already, very good. If you want to change it to yards, feet, anything at all, you change it, but millimeters we're working with here. So we also do decimals, which is good because we want our fractions, and we want our precision to be 0, 0.0. So you get 4.5 millimeters and not really 4.5333 because we don't go micromillimeters. Uh, but if you are looking for that kind of accuracy, Godspeed. Then for your angles, we use decimals and zero. So we have 30 degree angle, not 30, point 0.1, point 0.2. We know we are interested in the point. We know we do minutes and seconds and everything. Those degrees flat. Right. So the units done set, see? International, everything legit right there. Okay. So we go limits now. 
next thing, the last and final thing we do when we set up limits. L I M I T S. I'll go Bamson. So we usually work with this limit, upper limit and lower limit. So we start with the lower limit, right? Our lower limit is zero, comma, zero. Alright, so you got zero, comma, zero. Enter. Then it says specify here so specify upper limit. So we usually work with a limit can be anything really, you know, because the limits are basically the size we have, the sheet size we have with. So, I mean, say, usually say 250, 500, you know, because every drawing that you're doing usually fits within that. So, I go 250, 500, enter. And your limit set. You can zoom to that limit, you understand? You have a page for work with, within. You want everything legitimate. Yes, man. All right. So, that's it for the setup for the sheet. The next thing you need to do is set up your layers, but I'll make another video to show you how to 